So the next stone that we're going to talk about in this series is this one, lapidolite. So this example of lapidolite is purple, and if you look at it, I don't know if it can tell, but the things that kind of look whitish blue on it are little um, very shiny spots. This is a donut stone example, so it's been, you know, processed that way. But let's get into chatting about it a bit. So lapidolite is associated with Libra, the third eye and crown chakras. It's called the peace stone. It's associated with water, Jupiter, and Neptune, associated with the number eight. The hardness on the mode scale is 2.5 to 4. The color ranges from pink to purple to more of a lilac color. It's, it contains like potassium, lithium, aluminum, silicate, hydroxide, and fluoride. So it's found in the Czech Republic, Greenland, Madagascar, Africa, and the Dominican Republic, as well as Brazil and the U.S. It gets its name from the Greek lepidos, meaning scale. That was kind of interesting. It contains lithium, which is used in a lot of medications to help with like mood disorders and such. And um, it can help detoxify. It helps with exhaustion, Alzheimer's, epilepsy. Um, it can help balance brain functions. It's very good for people with hyperactivity or ADHD. Like, you know, it's, think of the name. It means scale, right? So it balances things out. It can also help people with PTSD. It's a stone of transition, so it helps with changes and like dealing with those kind of difficulties, like finding that middle space, finding that, that ability to kind of just calm yourself among the waves, that kind of stuff. It encourages independence from anything that you think you may need. So it's really good for people who want to quit bad habits like alcohol or drugs or just any like bad um, compulsions or things that they think they need when they really don't need them. It can help with sad moods, depression, and hard times. It's a mood stabilizer. It helps people overcome emotional and or mental dependencies and can fight against mood swings or behavioral disorders or things like anorexia or bulimia or self-harm. And um, it can also boost the immune system and the nervous system. It can alleviate tension and even fight allergies. Helps against sci sciatica and neuralgia. It brings about good coincidences and synchronicities. It can help guard from and recover from psychic attacks, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, it's a great stone for those who worry a lot or let fear get a hold of them, which personally is why I sent this to my grandma, because she does tend to kind of worry yourself a bit, you know, she likes to sit in that worrying rocking chair. But let's remember, when you're, there was this phrase that I, that I read once, worrying is like sitting in a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it doesn't get you anywhere. Uh, yeah, where was I on my notes? So, hmm, yep. Do, 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 do you, it can help with logical and objective thinking. So we're moving away from emotional thinking and thinking more rationally. It can, it encourages people to sell, seek help for things, you know, being able to speak up like, hey, I have a problem, that kind of thing. It's great when placed next to a computer to absorb electromagnetic signals. You know, there's people that worry about the uh, signals and stuff that come off of uh, microwaves, laptops, TVs, and such. And um, so it's kind of like shungite in that it can help neutralize that kind of stuff. Um, it's said to restructure or repair DNA and re produce negative ions. And when I read that, I was like, there's something else that produces negative ions that's good for healing. And a uh, fun fact, cat purrs do that. So if a cat's laying on you and purring, they're actually kind of sharing their ability to heal, which I think is kind of neat. Maybe that's why they have the whole nine lives thing. Um, let's see. It can also help with joint problems and heal the heart and circulation. So if anybody that has a uh, heart difficulties, yeah. And lastly, because it's such a mood stabilizer and... It helps with calming things and even balancing out the, the nervous system and things like that. It can also help with insomnia. So basically, after I read this, I was like, oh, that stone sounds fantastic for me. So it's actually been around my neck for the last, like, two days or so. So, yeah, I just put it away. But hopefully you guys can, um, you know, you can freeze frame or pause the picture to get a... Uh, get a good idea of what it looks like, and definitely Google it if you're interested in actually getting yourself one. You can always order them online or go to a crystal shop. I actually have one that's like 10 minutes from the house or so, depending on how fast you drive and whatever the speed limits are. Max of 15 minutes, and it's in the next town over. But 
yeah, so let me know what you guys think about Lepidolite and if you have one yourself or any other stones that you might want me to do reviews on. I'm trying to do reviews on stones that I have. I'm trying to locate my Sodalite one that I have. I think it's Sodalite. And then I'm also trying to locate my, my Rhodonite. And Rhodonite is an amazing stone. I really like it. It's really cool looking and it helps with a lot of things that are personal to me. So if I can find that one, I'm going to make a video on it. If I dig around enough and I can't find it, I'm still going to make a video on it. So let me know what other stones you guys want me to do or any other videos that you might want me to make down in the comments. You can always reach me on my social media or my email with the, with the info that you can find at the end of this video. So yeah, nice chatting with you. Good hunting. Thanks for watching my video. So if you want to check out my playlists, I have, among others, the Simon Necronomicon, the Tree of Life, General Magic, Tulpomancy, a playlist on my books, the Elements, Stones, the Theories that Govern Magic, and the Gods and Goddesses of Mesopotamia. If you want to check out my books on Amazon, I have Creating Consciousness, Magical Mechanics, Magical Theater, Handy Sigil Magic, and The Guide to the Spheres and Beyond. You can also find me on Facebook at MagicologyYT. You can email me at priestofthenecro at gmail.com, and you can even check out my Instagram, which is Magicology. And good hunting.